All right, well, thank you for tuning in once again to the Black Box Podcast, BBOR Black Box Online Radio. Today we're revisiting the Maura Murray case, and I've done three other uploads on this case here on this tiny channel on YouTube. And one of the reasons why this is such a topic that people can't stay away from is there is so much to talk about. And I mentioned this in the very first upload that I really feel the appeal of this case is centered on how much theorizing is going on. We know so much about what happened before Maura Murray disappeared, and we know absolutely nothing that really happened afterwards. And yes, I mean, some people try and connect some dots, but really there is almost no hard evidence to support anything one way or another. However, we need to go back to one of the earliest statements ever made about the Moore Murray case from none other than Fred Murray, her father, who stated that um, he believed a local dirtbag snatched her. Or I believe his just line is that he, Moore Murray was snatched by a dirtbag off of Route 112. And I really wanted to just think about that a little more because for the longest time, I was a promoter of the sort of accidental death. In short, I would say that I, I thought she died in the woods, and the reason why I would say that is because um, it seemed like it had the least amount of assumptions, and also there was the very high possibility that uh, she froze to death. And even on the Missing Moore Murray podcast, uh, they explored the possibility that um, if someone is running in the cold, because remember, Moore was a cross-country runner, if someone is running in the cold, and someone has, they are more likely to freeze to death. And also, if they're carrying alcohol, and drink, sorry, if they're drinking alcohol, they're more likely to freeze to death. And we know Mora most likely had a bottle of Kahlua with her because it was on the receipt in the car, and the bottle was not found in the car. But um, so that means that at least one bottle of alcohol was probably with her in her backpack. So I really entertained that for the longest time, and I really just thought that was the answer to everything. But one of the things that I just cannot shake with this case is why has there not been a single fiber attributed to her? Why haven't they found the backpack? Why haven't they found any remains if she did die in the woods? You know, And I know that they just need to find such a very, very specific location, but with the amount of years put into this case, and they've scoured you know, the five-mile radius, furthermore, the dogs lost Morris' scent 100 yards from the crime scene. Well, I shouldn't say crime scene. The dogs lost Morris' scent 100 yards from the wreck site. Now, doesn't that kind of suggest that she got in somebody's truck? And for years, I just th sort of um, also kind of was thinking of the possibility she got in somebody's truck to a different, even more rural part, and she just took off on her own. And I don't even know why I said a truck. It could be a car. It could be a motorbike. Who the f flip knows. Well, I really have to entertain the possibility that Maura Murray was murdered by what Fred Murray calls some dirtbag, because we have no remains found. We have the dogs losing her, her scent a hundred yards from the wreck site, and there's been absolutely no trace of her ever since. And you know, not, not a single electronic message, not any sort of way to contact anybody, and no remains found, that's almost pushing things toward the least amount of assumptions goes that she got in some car leaving the wreck site, and I guess I'm just sort of trying to say that um, that guy probably murdered her and buried her body somewhere, as gruesome as that sounds. I was trying not to be super morbid, but when you just sort of lay it out like that, that would explain why they haven't found any remains, and it explains why the dogs lost her scent. I don't really think there's any connection with the so-called A-frame house. I don't really think that had... I think that was just sort of, you know, people going down the wrong trail, if you can imagine that, both literally and metaphorically. So I think that it's very, very likely that she was murdered. We have to get rid of this opportunistic serial killer thing, though. It's nearly impossible that, you know, the one person that would offer her a ride would be a serial killer. No, this was probably just, you know, some man that picked her up in his car, truck, or motorbike even. I'll leave that one out. And um, he probably took her somewhere and some altercation kicked off. And that led to 
some sort of physical incident where more Mer where Mora became deceased. We don't even necessarily know if it was a murder yet because got accidental death. I mean, maybe she tripped over his coffee table and hit her head on something. I don't know. And those are the kind of details that we will probably never get until human remains are found. However, I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not up to date 100% on all the details of the case like some people are, but as far as I know, they have not really found any sort of physical evidence that has linked, um, anything in the woods to Maura Murray, and I would really think if the amount of people have been searching for her for this long have not found anything, that tells me that she is pretty much just in some location outside of that five to seven mile radius that they have been exploring so thoroughly. Well, I guess that's all I can really say about that, and now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Does the physical evidence support that Maura Murray was murdered, or do you think it's more likely an accidental death? As I mentioned, I put up, um, I guess two uploads are still up, and I did a third one that uh, got accidentally deleted, but I would say that the comments that I've received have also been very much supportive of either a murder or um, Maura uh, passing away in the woods, succumbing to the elements. I really seems like people in the comments sections and people I've talked to personally about the case are really pushing for those two things, or they really believe that that's most likely what happened. So I'll say the question one more time. Uh, do you believe that Mora was murdered, and she was murdered by this so-called dirt bag on Route 112 that Fred Murray has titled, or do you think that something else happened? What do you think is the most likely thing that happened to Mora Murray all those years ago? All right, that's all for me, and talk to you soon.